What would happen with High Wheelie Possible if I turned this bad boy off right here? What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. In this episode, we're testing out the wheelie control on my 2024 BMW M1000 Single R. If you have an S1000 Double R, S1000 Single R, same rules are going to apply to you. It has the same wheelie control computer, the same ECU. So in this episode, what I really want to test out is the quick shifter. Can you pop it up with high wheelie possible mode turned on, pop it into second, pop it into third, and just keep that wheel going at that two-ish feet? If you guys haven't checked out my last two videos on wheelie control check those out first jump back into this one but spoiler alert wheelie control at high wheelie possible only lets you do about a two foot wheelie nothing crazy we're gonna test that out we're gonna pop it into first we're gonna pop it up with high wheelie possible mode turned on start wheeling get close to red line and then pop it into second and see if it just lets that wheel keep going or does it slam the wheel down or does it nicely put it down in this video we're gonna test all of that out also we're gonna test out the red line we're gonna put it in first gear we're gonna pop it up with high wheelie possible mode turned on and then we're gonna wheelie right until we hit red line and we're gonna see if it slams that wheel down or it sets it down nicely so get excited guys stick around it's gonna be a good one let's go all right let's jump on the bike here throw some heat in the engine as daily driven exotics would say and uh start this video out oh one more thing new gopro setup i hope this gets a really good angle it looks like it's going to show the front tire perfectly and you guys can see exactly how high i'm wheeling all right before we get going let's just jump into the settings so that you guys can see exactly what i'm rolling with here vehicle settings ride mode pre-selection roll on down to that configuration race pro one that's what we're going to be rolling with wheelie behavior we're at a one let's go into that high wheelie possible minimal support that's what we're going to be testing out today is the quick shifter with high wheelie possible let's see if i can do a really long two foot wheelie <laughs> Also, how nice is that hill assist? On a hill here, can't move. Oh yeah, beautiful, love it. I'm always getting this tire pressure not at set point because I'm running 33, 32 PSI in the rear, 30 in the front, and BMW doesn't like that. They want me to have 40 some PSI, so every time I gotta shut this off, I think there's a way to actually shut this off. I just need to figure it out. <laughs> the GoPro seems to be doing its job, staying with me. We don't want a repeat of uh, my first wheelie video where I lost the GoPro and I still got a scratched lens on that. All right, guys, take one here. Let's see how well the wheelie control works with the quick shifter. Can you shift through the gears? Let's go. Okay, okay. As you guys can see, it set it down there. I feel like I could do a little better. I feel like I could get those RPMs up a little bit more and really test it out even better. So we're gonna do three takes here, see if we get the same result every time. We also had a car behind us, so I felt like that last one was a, a little bit rushed. We'll flip around, we'll do a take two here. But it did set that wheel down. I noticed that right away. As Soon as I popped it into second, it set that wheel down. All right, guys, flipping around here for take two. Let's try shift through the gears. I'm gonna try get the RPMs up a little bit higher this time and shift into second. All right, high wheelie possible. Let's go. Okay, right there. Uh, okay. Uh, all right, guys, that was definitely user error. I did not fully click it into second there. That's why it slammed me down. Um, we'll flip around. We'll do that again. <laughs> Make sure you guys fully click into second because that will happen to you. It will slam your ass to the ground. All right, flipping around. We're gonna do take two again, and then we'll do a take three. I also shifted a little bit early on that one. I wanna try shift around that 12,000 RPMs so that I give it the best possible odds of staying up. GoPro still held on through that one. I'm pretty impressed with uh, my setup right now. A little tip for you guys, don't trust the little sticky things that uh, GoPro gives you when you're extending it out. It will not hold your GoPro, trust me. <laughs> All right, flipping around. Looks like we got the road to ourselves for a redo of take two. Let's go. All right, take two. High wheelie possible, bringing it up. Right there, right to the pin. Okay. All right, guys, well, that was around that 12,000. I feel like I gave it the best possible odds to keep that front wheel up, but the second you shift into second, it 
nicely, nicely sets it down. Like, that is crazy. It's kind of like you kind of know what you're doing. If uh, your bro beside you didn't know you had wheelie control, he would think, hey, you know, that guy uh, set it down super nice and uh, kind of knows what they're doing. Maybe. Um, we'll flip around for take three here. We'll give it another try, see what happens. I think it's gonna be the same result as the first three takes. Take two, I had to do twice because of uh, human error, not fully clicking it into second gear. But so far it's looking like you can not shift through the gears with wheelie control, holding it right to the pin. Like I am right to the pin. If you did not have, if you didn't have wheelie control on, you would for sure do a backflip because this bike would just throw you off the bike immediately. No questions. Wheelie control works. It works pretty good, but it doesn't let you wheelie that high <laughs> all right take three guys here let's see maybe i'll try and rev it up a little bit more to give it the best possible odds of just staying up as high wheelie possible all right take three let's go popping it up in three two one right there right to the pin right to the pin right to the pin okay it stayed up a little bit there a little bit but it still was not enough to keep that wheel going. It just set it down nicely. BMW is not trying to let you do those perfect wheelies. Like it is not intended to uh, make you make you uh, do wheelies whatsoever. So I noticed there that it did let me keep it up a tiny bit, but it still ultimately set it down. As a bonus here, let's go around. We'll do a take four. And this time we're not gonna shift. We're just gonna redline it. And we're gonna see if it slams me down when it hits that rev limiter or does it set it down nicely? I have a feeling it's gonna set it down real nice. All right, red line guys, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, right to the pin, right to the pin. Okay, you know what? It set it down pretty freaking nice. It is not gonna blow out your fork seals, guys. That's what we're really testing out today. Well, there you guys go. And as a bonus, we're gonna go around, we're gonna do a take five. I had someone in the comments ask, what would happen with high wheelie possible if I turned this bad boy off right here? Is it gonna override the wheelie? Is it gonna let me go higher? Is it gonna do anything at all? As a bonus, if you guys made it this far in the video, we're gonna test this out. We're gonna turn it off, off. Traction control completely off. Let's see if wheelie control works the exact same way. I have a feeling it's gonna work the exact same way, but uh, I actually don't know. I have never tested this out before. So thank you to the person with the comment. Let's see if this allows me to go a little higher or the same, or it turns wheelie control off altogether. <laughs> Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh, that's an electric Harley, I think. Damn, that thing was quiet. That is weird to see an electric Harley. Of all bike manufacturers that are making electric bikes, you wouldn't think Harley would be uh, one of the first to do it, but and they are. <laughs> All right, trash control off. We'll flip around here one more time. And uh, yeah, I will right, let this car go. We'll flip around. Trash control turned off. Let's see if it affects wheelie control at all. Uh, let's hope I don't loop this thing with wheelie control turned off. Um, I think it's still going to be engaged. I think it just turns the slipping of the uh, wheel off, you know, because that's what traction control is. It uh, detects when the wheel is slipping and uh, cuts power. So, okie dokie guys. Traction control turned off. Let's see if it affects this wheelie control. I'm pretending I have no wheelie control right now. So, yeah. Okay guys. Um, yeah, I don't think, uh, when you turn traction control off, it just turns wheelie control off. I am 100% positive. If I went a little higher, I would backflip if I pinned it. I was not pinning it there at all. So leave your trash control on. We'll try it one more time around this bend here just to prove to you guys. But yeah, it uh, it turns wheelie control off. So trash control better be turned on if you guys are doing this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, 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 yeah. Keep your traction control on, guys. It will turn wheelie control off if you have traction control turned off. <laughs> Good to know. I'm glad I've uh, 
done a few wheelies in my day to uh, know how to control a uh, power wheelie because damn. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you guys learned something new today. If you did, consider dropping a like, a comment, a subscribe, all that good YouTuber stuff because I'd like to keep making these videos. I think they're so much fun to make. The question has been answered. Can you quick shift through the gears with high wheelie possible mode turned on? And the answer is kind of not really. It sets it down. BMW is not trying to let you do these crazy wheelies, shift through the gears. That was not what high wheelie possible mode was intended for. It's not letting you do those perfect two foot wheelies, shift through the gears, nothing like that. What? So ever, unfortunately. And then also as a bonus, we turned traction control off and that was the first time actually testing that out. And if you turn traction control off, you're gonna do a backflip if you're holding it to the pin because it also turns wheelie control off if you're turning traction control off. So make sure guys, if you guys are testing this out for yourself, make sure traction control is turned on because you will backflip if you pin it right to the pin and you're not feathering that back brake or anything like that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you let your uncle, your aunt, your grandma, your grandpa know that I made a part three wheelie video. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>